when they discovered plant fossils under ice in Greenland that is about a mile deep. For thousands of years, Greenland's icy landscape has kept its buried secrets safe. The ice has hidden these mysteries so well that no one knew what lies beneath. But as nature would have it, massive icebergs are beginning to fall off the coast. As the ice melts, scientists began to uncover the history hidden below. What researchers found hidden under the ice left them stunned. What have they found, and how might it change our understanding of the Earth and science? What Greenland looks like. There was once a world where snowflakes fall each year, building up a thick white blanket over time. As more layers of snow pile up, the pressure compresses them into a solid, dense sheet of ice. This is how the Greenland ice sheet formed millions of years ago, a process that took place over many centuries. The ice sheet preserved its stability for centuries by spreading across most of Greenland within a frozen barrier. However, history revealed that the ice sheet expanded and degraded 11 times, while some previous expansions extended up to 75 miles farther than its present-day borders. You know what's shocking? The last time this dramatic ice movement occurred was a million years ago. So what factor resulted in drastic size fluctuations of the ice sheet? Was it the rotation of the Earth? At this point, we all know something is changing, and scientific observations dating back to the early 2000s show that Greenland's glaciers are rapidly moving backward. What's worse? The glaciers appear to move at a pace that isn't influenced by temperature change alone. Through the same research, scientific researchers have identified a hidden natural process they named the Jakobshavn effect. This effect is a simple yet powerful concept that happens when the glacier thins. Thinning reduces movement around the glacier and makes it faster because less friction is holding it back. This creates an imbalance that speeds up the glacier and generates rapid movements. However, what drives this acceleration? Warmed North Atlantic Ocean waters supply the key understanding of these events. Water temperatures in these areas have gradually become warmer since the 1950s and have been melting away the base of the glacier fonts. In 1997, this change became even bigger. The ocean currents shifted and brought warm Erminger seawater next to West Greenland's glaciers. So here's the thing. The Greenland ice sheet is always losing a bit of mass, especially from ice breaking off at its coast. However, in the past, snowfall balanced it out. However, things started changing again in the 1900s when Greenland began to warm up. Then in the 1980s, the ice sheet started losing more mass than it was gaining. This had a big impact on the balance. Every year since 1996, the ice sheet has been losing mass. In 2010, it melted at a rate faster than anything we have seen in the past 12,000 years. Not only is this rapid melting a recent occurrence, but it also looks like it will be a continuous process. Even more ice sheet melting will occur later this century. However, what's even more concerning is that there have been some intense melting events in recent years. From 2012 to 2019 and 2021, almost the entire ice sheet surface melted and no new snow was accumulated. This intense melting can be referred to as a massive melting event and they are a clear sign of something amiss. If you think that's surprising, here's something even more astonishing. Sometime in 2021, it rained heavily in Greenland for the first time. It was so unexpected that they did not have rain gauges to measure it. What then happens when Greenland's ice melts? It causes the sea level to rise. Between 2012 and 2017, Greenland's ice melted and about 0.68 mm was added to the sea level each year. That may not sound like much, but it's a big chunk. Nonetheless, here's the thing. As the years go by, Greenland's ice will keep contributing to the rising sea level. By the end of the century, we expect between 6 and 13 centimeters of extra sea level rise, depending on how much Earth warms up. If we don't do anything to cut greenhouse gas emissions, the worst case could be as high as 33 centimeters. The melting of Greenland's ice also has another effect. It destroys the Atlantic Ocean currents. How is this possible? Well, fresh meltwater reduces the currents and slows them down. If this keeps up, it could even lead to the collapse of current circulation, and that's very bad. However, researchers believe this will probably only happen if the Earth continues to heat up at an accelerated rate for hundreds of years. Is there anything that can be done to prevent this catastrophe from happening? What if research leads us to more findings that can help create damage control to these risks? What led to the discovery in the Greenland? In April 2024, NASA scientist Chad Green and his team were flying on the Gulf Stream 3, where he and his team could see a sparse Greenland ice sheet. 
Why were they flying? The radar instrument being scanned by the ice sheet below was their mission, so they had to monitor it. Green snapped a photo of the icy landscape as they flew about 150 miles east from Patufik Space Base in northern Greenland from the aircraft's window. What happened next was unexpected. Something was buried deep within the ice and the radar instrument picked it up. The team had no idea what it was at first. We were looking for the bed of the ice and out pops Camp Century, said Alex Gardner, a cryospheric scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, also called JPL, who helped lead the project. Camp Century, also called the City Under the Ice, was a Cold War relic. You might be wondering how this is possible. In 1959, the United States Army Corps of Engineers built the military base and began carving interconnected tunnels through the ice sheet. However, it was abandoned in 1967, and with that, the base sat under at least 30 meters, which is 100 feet of snow and ice. However, the solid structures remained buried and intact. How did the radar capture something buried 100 feet into the ground? How the radar works. What if you used a special kind of ultrasound to map out the layers of an ice sheet? That's about what scientists do with radar technology. Researchers create detailed maps of the ice surface, its internal layers, and the bedrock beneath it by sending out radio waves and timing how long it takes for them to bounce back. Over the years, conventional types of radars have been used by scientists to detect signs of the abandoned military base buried beneath the Greenland ice sheet, known as Camp Century. These radar images were, however, limited. They only gave 2D profiles of the ice sheet, while the solid structures at Camp Century appeared as just a small blip in the deformed layers of ice. However, when the NASA scientists embarked on their research, they used a more advanced radar system called the APESAR, meaning Uninhabited Aerial Vehicle Synthetic Aperture Radar, in April 2024, to map out Camp Century. The maps produced by this system are more dimensional, allowing the researchers to see individual structures in the base in app detail. Chad Green, a cryospheric scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, said the new data reveals the secret city in a way that's never been seen before. Does this mean images can now be read correctly? Scientists can compare the new radar map to historical maps of the bases to see how the parallel structures fit with the tunnels built to house several facilities. However, the downside of all of this is that the images are quite tricky to interpret. A long line, for example, might seem above the base, but in reality, it is just the ice bed, which is a mile or more below the ice sheet's surface. The radar image, which shows part of the ice bed far in the distance, makes it look like the ice is floating above the base. Alex Gardner and Chad Green weren't attempting to photograph Camp Century. They had a much bigger goal, testing what advanced radar systems could capture, especially when mapping out the internal layers of the ice sheet and the ice bed interface below. Why then is this research so important? Remember that there's a high meltwater level and the warming climate is increasing. Understanding ice sheet thickness is essential because it will help researchers predict how thick ice sheets will react to a warming climate, which is also crucial for protecting sea level rise. Without detailed knowledge of ice thickness, it is impossible to know how the ice sheets will respond to rapidly warming oceans and atmosphere, greatly limiting our ability to project rates of sea level rise, Gardner said. What else has been found in Greenland, and what is it about the camp century anyway? Greenland findings. Going back to 2021, Scientists discovered something important. Buried under the massive Greenland ice sheet were fossilized plants. These plants were almost a million years old and trapped beneath a mile-thick layer of ice. What did this discovery mean? It meant that the Greenland ice sheet melted years ago without human assistance and that the plants existed when carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere were lower than they are now. This is important because the study results show Greenland's ice might melt. The only downside is that the Greenland ice sheet covers about 656,000 square miles. And if the whole thing melts, sea levels would rise by 20 feet and cities on the coast would be in danger. While most scientists do not believe we will ever get to witness this kind of dire melt, the results of this discovery show the extent of the threat of human-caused climate change. Andrew Christ, the main researcher in this study said, our study shows that Greenland is much more sensitive to natural climate warming than we used to think. We already know that humanity's out of control, warming of the planet hugely exceeds the natural rate. The story behind this study backs up the recent 2024 research conducted by the NASA scientists who cited the Camp Century, which we mentioned earlier. Now let's give an insight into the Camp Century. 
During the Cold War, the United States military built this base in Greenland, and that base became a polar science station, which they named Camp Century. How did they build this structure? As part of their cover story, the United States Army scientists drilled a 4,560-foot, which is 1,400-meter deep core, out of the thick ice sheet in northwest Greenland. The ground beneath the ice included 15 feet of this core. For decades, most of the soil pulled from under the ice was ignored and lost in a freezer. Little did they know this lost soil would come in handy to give important clues about Greenland's climate history in the future. These old soil samples from Greenland had been collecting dust, and in 2017, scientists rediscovered them. When researchers worldwide studied these samples, they were surprised by what they found. In contrast to the sand and rock they expected to find underneath the ice, they found twigs and leaves instead. Those samples showed that the area of Greenland where the samples were taken was once covered by vegetation in the past million years, which inadvertently meant that Greenland was probably ice-free during that period, perhaps within the past few hundred thousand years. So what does this mean? According to these scientists, if the Greenland ice sheets should melt during past natural warm periods, then the current human-caused warming period could also have a big effect on the ice sheet. Since then, scientists have been trying to understand past natural warm spells, known as interglacials. But they know only a little, especially about what happened in Greenland during those times. For their research, they've only had to rely on indirect clues until now, such as mud and rock that washed off the island. When some old ice cores that were drilled down through the rock under Greenland were rediscovered by researchers, it changed the narrative for them. Andrew said, ice sheets typically pulverize and destroy everything in their path, but we discovered delicate plant structures, perfectly preserved. They're fossils, but they look like they died yesterday. It's a time capsule of what used to live on Greenland that we wouldn't be able to find anywhere else. What will this new finding be for the scientists and researchers? Knowing Greenland's past helps scientists know what to expect in the future. With the new study finding that Greenland is more fragile and sensitive to climate change than we thought, Paul Bierman of the University of Vermont, who worked on the study, emphasized the urgency of this issue and said, this is not a 20 generation problem. This is an urgent problem for the next 50 years. Greenland may seem far away, but it can quickly melt, pouring enough into the oceans that New York, Miami, Dhaka, pick your city, will go underwater. The melting of Greenland's ice sheet has happened before, says Andrew Christ and Paul Bierman, without human involvement. At that time, carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere were lower and were rising more slowly than they are now. The ice core and the soil below are something of a Rosetta Stone for understanding how durable the Greenland ice sheet has been during past warm periods and how quickly it might melt again as the climate heats up. Are there other things that have been found beneath the ice in Greenland? Further Greenland findings. Incredible ice sculptures lie beneath the northern ice sheet. Only a few people have ever seen them. Well, not until recently. At first, scientists thought these formations were just rocky hills and ice. But nature created an exclusive art exhibit hidden from human eyes. Researchers have used radar equipment to peer beneath the ice to uncover these sculptures. Evidence of these jelly roll sculptures appeared for the first time in 2010. In the same year, a large chunk of the Peterman Glacier broke off and slid into the ocean. As the glacier moved, it revealed one of these sculptures. When the glacier broke off, scientists believe it moved twice as fast as other ice sheets, which is quite interesting. When the sculpture was eventually exposed to sunlight, scientists think it began to melt and refreeze, accelerating the glacier's motion. It was only in 2014, however, that radar technology was advanced enough to give researchers a peek at what these hidden sculptures looked like. In fact, according to researchers, Greenland's hidden ice sculptures are massive, taller than Manhattan skyscrapers, and even something as tall as 3,280 feet. If you combine the two tallest buildings in Manhattan, it would still be less than the height. However, as radar imaging shows, the ice is not formed in uniform layers. Instead, the galaxy has a twisted, icy jelly roll look, and these incredible sculptures are just created by bent, folded, and shifted ice. Scientists also estimate the ice to be about 120,000 years old. The sculptures are much closer to the surface than we expected. So instead of being buried 1.5 miles below the Earth, it is just about 0.6 miles beneath the surface level, which is mind-blowing.
The findings around the Greenland ice continue, and just like that, NASA glaciologists and an international team of researchers made another discovery in northwest Greenland. What did they discover? A huge meteorite impact crater hidden under more than half a mile of ice. It is the first of its kind discovered under Greenland's ice sheet and is one of the 25 largest impact craters on Earth. That's not all of it. It measures about 1,000 feet deep and 19 miles wide, which is about the same area as within Washington's Capitol Beltway. Three years were spent by the research team led by the University of Copenhagen's Center for Geogenetics. The researchers discovered the first one in July 2015 using NASA data, mostly because NASA has an open data policy that allows scientists and others to go through their research and findings. So while going through the map that used a special radar from NASA Operation Icebridge, a project that tracks changes in polar ice, they found a huge circular depression under the Hiawatha Glacier at the edge of the ice sheet and it had never been seen before. The Hiawatha Glacier is a glacier in northwest Greenland, close to the Arctic Circle. The research team, however, returned to the Hiawatha Glacier in the summers of 2016 and 2017 to map structures and collect sediment samples. From their samples, they found conclusive evidence of a meteorite crater. Associate Professor Nikolay Larson said some quartz sand had planar deformation features, indicating a violent impact. Today, we do not know what else Greenland ice holds. Will further excavation reveal another old secret? Are there other impact craters out there waiting to be found? Could the Greenland ice sheet be the key to understanding the Earth's most catastrophic events? What else does the Greenland ice hold that we don't know about? Remember to share your thoughts in the comments. Also, please like this video and subscribe to this channel to get notified whenever we release entertaining and educational videos like this. Thank you for watching. You can also watch the other videos on your screen.